As I said, here you go. That's how we do to make a shark coin. Uh, I promise to show you how to make a shark coin. Is the the man working on making a shark coin? Okay, so that's how we make. We make a hole. We dig some hole. We arrange all the trees you see down there. These are the trees we cut from the from the space where we have a yucas. So instead of wasting it, we just making a charcoal which we can use for barbecue uh cooking or anything which needs charcoal so that's exactly what he's doing as you can see that's how charcoal is being made i will show you the end of it when it comes to the end so i just made this video especially to show how sharp charcoal is being made from the start so we make a hole these holes it goes down like uh, 50 centimeters and goes up and that's how what you see here is arranging all these uh all these uh trees in there it makes four holes in the four corners which we five we go to oh yeah, uh, see all this is why we're getting all those trees so well, that's where the fire is going to now look how it is now see a film up or fill up it will continue to fill them up like this and not arrange it very good fill them up and from that point here goes my family charcoal production look where, you, where he is see that's a charcoal that's why the boy is working on the man is working on it right there he's working the charcoal you see how he is now okay the lady i'm buying yucca from so she brought me, uh, she brought me this yucca while I was buying uh, those boutiers. While I was buying those boutiers here, she decided to bring me uh, all these these yucca you see here. So that's it's good, it's yummy, it's good to eat. So I'm gonna try it. Just look at me trying it. That's how, that's how we call. That's how we call yuca. Okay, this is yuca. That's what we're producing right now. So I'm buying about this butir and they gave me this. So I'm gonna try it. That's how we, that's how we used to make a kwanga, fufu, I mean all kind of different things. So easier. That's how we spit it. Take it off. And by the way, you see this? This is not to throw away. It's very good when you have this. You try to broil it a little bit, you to toss it down, it's good for the fish. So you put it in the fishing tank we're gonna have here. So the combination of animals and fishes and and a few birds uh, is really good because that's what you need for your agricultural project to have a successful. So it reduces your expenses on certain areas. Whatever produce in the farm, the chicken, the chicken and the, the fish eat it, and whatever the fish is pretty much exchangeable like this. So that's the yucca, okay? That's the yucca. That's the yucca. Oh. What? So, what's coming out of this? Was here, okay? It's like so good, so yummy. Mm -hmm. It may taste like a carrot, but not really carrot. It tastes pretty good. Very good. So good. Okay. 
Thank you guys. Keep watching my video and post a like. That's how we get more friends. That's how I post more video. We give you more courage, give you more motivation, keep give me your ideas. Give me some critics. I need some critics. What I'm doing wrong. So I need to know what I'm doing wrong so I can prove it. Thank you for your critics. <laughs> Hey, it's my family. That's why we call cat. Okay, that's why we call booty. And this is a bag, what we call bot. Eh? The bot moko. This is a bag. See how it is? That's a uh, cassava. So that's what it is. Cassava. Cassava tree. There's a booty. That's what. This is how we're going to plant it. Just put them in the ground. And here you go. Okay. This is what we call. Okay, that's a boat. One boat. That's why we're going to plant here. Hey, Sumac family, one more thing. Uh, this man here is explaining he's the one's gonna set up the fish pound for us in Sumac farm so now he go explaining the plan how we're gonna get it done okay it's under those trees you see here is there's a water in there so he's just explaining how can we take advantage of this water to have a fish pond in there so that's why the fish pond is going to be you will see very soon how it's going to look like it may he's explaining this in Lingala well uh, I'm trying to do the best to explain to you in English so what you say is giving dimensions again how profitable is going to be and uh, what need to be done what type of equipment we need what we need to get to get this project done and here I have some ducks so those ducks the poops from the ducks and anything else we go to the to the fish pond so actually the fish love those so it's very good combination as I say agriculture is about this so you have a you have a fish and you have a poop for the for the ducks which are going to the fish or pond and which will fish that we eat and from that they will get healthy and they'll get stronger so that's that's the reason 